when you're with someone uh, and you're in a confined space together or whatever, uh, you can really extract a lot from someone by reducing the distraction mm. and just having the camera and the person and, and yourself and whatever conversation ensues from that. So. I'm Adam, I'm a photographer, I specialise in portraits and mostly shoot film and some portraits. Um, I've been suffering migraines for a few years and um, was feeling pretty low mentally actually uh, and wasn't learning anything, was feeling pretty miserable and, and needed to learn something new, to teach myself something to get out of the rut. So film was it, film was, being a photographer, film was the next logical step. I had to basically relearn how I approach photography. I had to learn how to process all my photos. I had to learn how to do everything again. Uh, and then experiment along the way as well, beyond what digital can do for me. And so that was the turning point. And since then, <laughs> shot hundreds of rolls of film, processed nearly probably 95% of it myself uh, in my kitchen. And to have that control, and then to see the film come out of the canister developed as a real triumph mm. and certainly did a lot for my mental state after uh, dealing with migraines for so long. Ah, cool. All right. It just makes shooting photography so much better for me. I just enjoy it so much more. You tend to look at things a lot longer mm. and when you go out into nature, or especially if I go do landscapes, um, whereas I would have taken hundreds of photos on the digital camera, I might only take 10 or 20 at, at, at the most. Yeah. With film, you know, the, the hit rate's much, much higher because the time's taken to to achieve what I want. You know, it's only human error that usually screws up the photos and, and the like, but sometimes chance or whatever happens in a photo and it can change the whole photo but without even knowing it. You, know, you just get this magical piece of imagery that you weren't even expecting yourself. And I've only really discovered this recently, actually. I think photography was a good alternative because I, I didn't have the, the space or the right mindset to, to draw or paint, which is what I ultimately wanted to do. Uh, and so photography was a, a, a really quick way to create a portrait, to capture a scene, uh, that I didn't have to um, worry about having to learn how to paint it or all that stuff. So it was a really quick alternative to, to art. And it's just another form of art to me. A lot of people don't see it as an art form, but I think done the right way, it's definitely an art form. Probably about 15 years ago, I initially turned the camera on myself uh, to do self portraits, to understand lighting on portraits, to understand how to, to take photos of people, and also to understand how it feels to have the camera pointing at you because not everyone's comfortable in front of a camera. And if I want people to be in front of my camera, I needed to know how they were feeling. And, and since then, it's just been 90% uh, people. What's really interesting is that um, when I'm shooting digital, most of the time I've got the camera at my face. And when I'm shooting film, I've got to look into the camera to focus, but more often than not, I'm looking up at the person uh, and there's that the intimacy is more because there's more connection. It's a lot of more face time rather than the camera being in my face the whole time. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, with, with the project on men, I see it as a fairly long project, but I want to condense it down into a, two years and then to turn it into a book uh, at the end. I want to make the book just on photographs and stories, if they want to give stories, if, if the, the subject wants to provide a story, then by all means, I'm happy to include that. Uh, and it's gonna be all on film as well, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and the, the series on the red photos and that sort of thing, um, I think that'll just be an ongoing one because it's just an open-ended thing. I like to watch people uh, express themselves. Again, it just reduces my input uh, and I just get to experience, you know, 
watch what the other person's creating in, in themselves.